You know they should have called it Metal Gear Spaghetti. <laughs> Sustenance, because he has to eat her. <laughs> oh, uh. Metal Gear Spaghetti 3, Sauce Eater. <laughs> Steak Eater? <laughs> Steak Eater. <laughs> Steak Eater. Oh, what a grill! <laughs> Remember the basics of BBQ. Tonight we have Tom and fucking Daryl, and welcome back to the We Hate Video Games podcast. Uh, we're currently a man down tonight, so it's probably going to be a mini so documenting some of the corruption that's been going on in video game journalism. What's fucking new, am I right? Video game journalism, using that term fast and loose. I'm, I'm sorry, I mean video game bloggers. I wouldn't even go after that. Blog. Sorry, video game shit posters. At this point, they're, they're, just, they're, they're just one step up from monkeys with typewriters. <laughs> At least monkeys with typewriters can eventually write Shakespeare. I mean, come on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I guess the big thing, uh, the big happening so far is uh, Gamergate. Oh, yes. It, uh, uh, it's very real. <laughs> yeah, very real. It's been trending. I don't know if it's trending right now, but it was trending... For quite a few days straight. Oh, Twitter's been a battleground and a half. Yeah. Many a celebrity has been felled. <laughs> Developers <laughs> have rose and fallen. And, uh, yeah, that sort of spawned, uh, Not Your Shield, which is, which I, I laugh my tits off every time I see hashtag Not Your Shield, because it's just one more person that is, like, against. The system. <laughs> well, against the man. Yeah, like so many people were saying, like, oh yeah, not your shield is just like a, uh, it's a, it's a, it's a ruse by 4chan to make it look like there's way more sort of women and and uh, and gays and blacks that are actually playing games. But like, and then people started posting pictures of themselves, and I think somebody made a collage of like a big like load of them. With a tweet at the top that just said, oh yeah, they're all just like sock puppets of, of 4chan. Like all these hundreds of different people. <laughs> cool. Yeah, because, yeah. you know, 4chan is known for having the user base who entirely want photos of themselves taken. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. mm, all <laughs> them reclusive shut-ins. Um, I guess the best way to describe uh, Game of the Gate and Noia Shield and Twitter right now if you think of Twitter like a developing nation, and there are two warring factions, you have the dictators in the form of social justice warriors, and you have the People's Liberation Armies, which the, is... The Sioux and the Navajo. <laughs> exactly, and, and we are currently being funded by Adam Baldwin, who is the CIA. <laughs> Adam based, based win. <laughs> Adam based win. <laughs> Jamestown, man. And, yeah, and John Jamestown. Tron. Living in Jamestown. Old John Tron. Yeah, they're, oh, they're our oh. CIA contacts. Uh, they are our Bruce Willis in the Expendables. <laughs> 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 and yeah, we like fucking Arnold Schwarzenegger and fucking Sylvester Stallone. <laughs> but uh, I can't say that because it's too macho and muscle bound. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, a lot of shit's been going down, especially it, journalists. They were trying to counter Not Your Shield with uh, hashtag still here, which was a total bust because that turned out to be a, uh, a cancer research, not cancer research, cancer survivor hashtag, which is uh, <laughs> pretty dark, really. Pretty dark, but uh, it's not okay. <laughs> they, they, really sure. they really should have looked into that, I think, before. Probably. You think they've done their research? <laughs> yeah, well, I, well, I think from this whole yeah, debacle, they, they we can we, yeah, yeah, we can 
determine that no, there is no research being done. Just ostriches just putting their heads in the ground. Yeah. La la la, Lemon you're syndrome, repressing me. I believe it is. <laughs> Lemon syndrome. Um yeah. yeah, it's just this whole thing of signal boosting, I guess, where you have one idiot trying to use a fucking cancer survivor hashtag and then everybody else follows on the bandwagon. Yeah. That's what's been they going on. Their, they take their word at face value and then end up looking like twats. Yep, for, for a yep. group of it, people who claim to be informed, they're the most ill-informed people. Absolutely. It's yeah. fantastic. Um, yeah, going back onto video game journalists, they've uh, done more backpedaling than yeah. Germany did getting the fuck out of Russia when they got their ass handed to them back in World War Two. So uh, abort, abort. Don't mention the war, man. Don't mention the war. It's okay. It's, it's fine. Everything goes backward in time. <laughs> it's an inevitability. It's an inevitability. Um, yeah, Kotaku backpedaled, and so did the Escapers. Well, the Escapers didn't so much backpedal as sort of allowed moderate discussion, and then sort of like said, "Okay, yeah, we we kind of did fuck up." And I think I read somewhere that they were going to do an apology for the Wizard Chan uh, sort really? of thing, but yeah, yeah I, I haven't seen any actual proof that that was happening yet. So we've we've steadily <laughs> gained ground in that respect. Yeah, yeah, I think I think that that would be one of the things that, that would really make people a lot happier mm -hmm. is if they apologized for that. But it was awful. It really was. Yeah, exactly. okay. And uh, yeah, my heart goes out to the people. She's trying to do it again. By the way, I don't know if you've seen the the screenshots that Zoe Quinn has posted from 4chan of like isolated uh, posts. Yes, with, I have. Without, um... without mentioning like the the string of replies that are all condemning said post. <laughs> did a single post um, saying that we should, I think it was beat up, I think it was Zoe Quinn, and literally everybody replied to that post. I'm fairly certain it was about 30 or 40 replies that yeah. just said, you're a fucking idiot, why would you say that? It's wrong. And, you know, she took it completely and utterly out of context. And Yeah, she, it, it doesn't matter at that point, yeah. she can take that one thing, but yeah. even though, you know, the, the, the whole thread is archived, so... Exactly. Well, archiving's now being done by uh, the... I, I'm fairly certain it's got something to do with this shit. It's everything's being archived. Yup. It's oh, peculiar. Yeah. It's, uh, it's very odd. But yeah, um, I, I'm not quite sure about what Kupaku has done to backpedal. Have they said that their journalistic integrity has been uh, compromised or something? Or? Nope. They, they they sort of just like um trying to neutralize the situation. Yeah. They the the way they they worded it. I I I I can't find the link. I don't want to go on the website because I don't want to get hit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But uh, I saw it through uh, archive today that. Uh, Do you think they're finally trying to sit on the fence? I think they they're trying, but it's they they're still trying to make it about harassment. Yeah. It's like, oh yeah, well, just just those those few people, they just need to stop harassing you guys. Well, it's basically like they're, they're apologizing for using the term gamers, but then at the same time they're like, we're we're, we're kind of still right. We're, we're a little bit right. You gamers, we're you know, still your friends, gamers. Yeah, but, don't worry. Know, listen to us. But the fantastic thing you is that one of the main yeah. advocates to say that the terminology, the identity of a gamer, is dead and completely and utterly like gone. I'm fairly certain a good couple of like journalist websites have been trying to push through that. Yeah, was, gamers are gone. It was like eleven in in the span of like forty eight hours. Mm, that is odd. And it's bizarre. It's it blew a, my mind. It's a push of pretty much every website who condemns Gamersgate, literally uh, uh, trying to go. Yeah, gamers have been blinked out of existence. I, I'm sorry, but they're trying to they're trying to push this narrative that they're not some kind of shadowy cabal of like journalists. And then they go and release eleven articles in two days. Yeah, literally one after another. After the after exact another. same thing. Maybe there is a club. Yeah, they, I don't see how they can say that there's not when they do stuff like that. Are you telling me that like all these different writers suddenly have the same idea? Eleven writers, in just, in just eight hours, all from different fucking parts of the country and different parts of the world, all fucking I, with I, different I, opinions, yeah. all came to the single consensus: the video gamers as an identity. Has now completely and utterly yeah. been destroyed. 
they just <laughs> It's just bizarre. It's, it's like if they just they just decided that oh, if we say it loud loud enough, then yeah. it'll be true. Hashtag signal boost then. Yeah, it's it's, it's like saying Beetlejuice three times. In the mirror. <laughs> yeah. Except if you had the entire fucking world say Beetlejuice. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. You'd have a fucking Laura Michael Keaton's running around. <laughs> <laughs> but, but there's so many people that just read it and think, yeah, okay, fair enough. Yeah, You're right. Once again, those are the people who take know. everything at face value and think that they're now informed. <laughs> it's just like, you know, <laughs> just fucking read through it. You know, if, like, in the words of Yahtzee, you know, with this whole Gamers Gate fiasco, if you, if you think that this is the start of corruption in, like, video game journalism, then where the fuck have you been for the past couple of years? <laughs> you know? Yeah. It's, it's obvious that something's been happening. I mean, like we said in our previous episode, with the Dorito Pope, with IGN, yeah. Dorito Pope. with the fucking, actually... Uh, we, Kane and Lynch 2. Yeah, we, we will be discussing Kane and Lynch 2, and my advertising revenue. Um, but yeah, you know, it's, it's very, very, very prevalent, and okay. it's... Is completely and utterly idiotic to say nope, nothing's going on. <laughs> Although I do like the word cabal. I, I you know, I'm, I'm impressed with that. A cabal of fucking journalists. <laughs> what it is? It's a shadowy cabal. <laughs> <laughs> just, just like all sat around and smoking and hashish, and fucking <laughs> discussing how to destroy gamers. Yeah, like oh, no, geisha, guys. geisha girls, like <laughs> sort of standing around. No, because they wouldn't do that because that would be oppressive. No, it, it would be. It would be a diverse Cultural array of creation. male, female, and cisgendered and fucking non-binary gendered fucking dancers. <laughs> oh, Which Jesus. I'm okay with. I'm okay with. I mean, if, yeah. it's, if it's your fucking gender, then go ahead. But if that's what you want to be, then that's what you want to be. Yeah. Exactly. You know. But you like as you want. Yeah. I mean, there are plenty of fucking mods and video games these days that will allow you to express that anyway. So, you know. In terms yeah. of developers and shit, they're the ones who are putting in the binary fucking gender roles. If you want to see the fucking gamers who put in all of the mods which allow you to do whatever the fuck you want, which one's more your friend? <laughs> <laughs> That's what I don't get. Like Everybody takes developers at face value, and oh yeah, the developers are being the good in this. It's just like, fuck off. They're the ones who've pushed fucking binary gender roles on people for years. And fucking, you have modders and shit coming out with, oh yeah, you don't have to be fucking specifically male or female. So, be what you wanna be! Exactly, man. you can be what you wanna be. It's like fucking Skyrim and shit. Yeah, you know, you can you can either be male or female, or you can be female you can mock and... yourself in a hermaphrodite lizard man. Exactly. Yeah. Like, um, you know, if, if that's what you wanna be. That's what you're into. Yeah, You don't okay. even have to be in the fucking same species, you can be a cat. Yeah, you'd be a fucking lizard cat person, it's you know. Fucking awesome, and people constantly think like, "Oh, and those developers who are the fucking best." I I stand with devs. But uh, yeah, <laughs> fucking Kotaku and shit removing the identity of a gamer. Ah, uh, fantastic! Yeah, talk I... about talk about shooting yourself in the foot. Yeah, they they just we basically have to do nothing. Yeah, it's like being Sony at E three last year. You just sit back and do nothing, <laughs> and just come out on top. But literally, where the fuck would their fan base come from if they removed gamers? <laughs> where the fuck would they get fucking clicks from? It would be like if the like the fishing association decide nope. We're we're getting rid of all fishermen. Yeah, we hate <laughs> fishermen. We're now. no longer fishermen. We, we no longer Define associate with people that call themselves fishermen. Is Define dead. terms. Yeah, undefine us. Can't label us. <laughs> <laughs> we're all and, special snowflakes. And then the fishing market would die. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No fucking. See, they wouldn't die because all the fishermen would team up and they'd they'd make their own fishing thing, exactly. and they would be fine. Which is basically what's happening. Is Hashtag I think people would be. A, I think a lot of people are being driven to, you know, write and talk about this on a larger scale than just sort of just blogging about it, which is good. Did they give any, like, examples of words that they could use instead of gamer, or was it just, we're getting rid of it? Like, there was, there were rumors that they were, they were trying to push some kind of title, yeah. but, like, because it was, um, a while back there was a, an atheism movement called Atheist Plus, and it was basically the same thing as this. Yeah, I know what like, it is. Atheism yeah. Plus is bullshit. Yeah, it, it didn't spawn entirely from... Atheist. Uh, 
Richard Dawkins like bitching out a woman in an elevator yeah. or something. <laughs> Hilarious. Pretty funny. I, I can't stand the guy, but he's he says what he wants, you know, and, Man, like, I, and I respect I him for that. Dawkins is a fundamental atheist, a fucking cunt, but my god, he trolls. Yeah, I, I, I don't like him as a person, but I damn right respect his opinion. I don't know, I don't mind him. He's a dick. He's, he's, he's actively a dick. He's but, a yeah. dick. But, yeah, he's, and he, he goes out of his way to be a dick. He's a well. Well. Islamophobe as well. He usually goes crazy. two dicks and goes and, you know, you, you have to be stern when you're trying to wipe out There's the stern, and then, Like, because some people just ain't going to change their mind, you know? It's, uh, say what you want. Yeah. Do as you wish. Think what you want. Say what you want. What you want. Hashtag, yeah. I stand with free speech. <laughs> Speaking of which, it brings us on to our next point. Jiggity jiggity John Tron. Exactly, yeah, fucking hashtag I stand with John Tron. Our they Lord and Xavier. They appropriated our, our hashtag. Yeah, they, they shanghai it from us. It did. In old pirate speak. <laughs> Gar. Gar. Those social justice scallywags. So yeah, the, 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 the social justice warriors started... Uh, you know, going for John Tron, going for the throat, as it were, the proverbial throat. <laughs> but how can you attack that which has no neck? <laughs> <laughs> oh God! It's uh, yeah, no, it was really awful. You know, he stood up for himself, and then, and doing, in doing so, garnered pretty much like hundreds and hundreds of abusive uh, tweets, which you know is. You would think counter to the social yeah, justice agenda. Sort of. Yeah, uh, just a bit. But it, it, it doesn't just stop at, uh, at John Tron because Brad Wardell, uh, the Stardock CD- CEO, was uh, equally harassed uh, a few years back when he was uh, allegedly sexually harassing uh, a female co worker, which turned out to be completely false. Uh, all charges were dropped. And, uh, and it's, the, it's the same thing, pretty much. You know? Yeah, but didn't, any, didn't any that guy si- have dozens of, like, death threats and shit? Well, oh, that was, uh, the Breitbart, uh, journalist. Ah, uh, so uh, we're gonna uh, be going on to this. Uh, I guess so. I was just gonna discuss the irony of it all. They complained it's about you getting on. a death threat yet. You know. Issue them out themselves. Exactly. Yeah, they... They choose who live on, lives and dies. You see, pretty much in their mind, they they're perfectly fit to decide. It's very scary. It's early <laughs> 1984, man. It's you fantastic know. sock jazz, man. Yeah. Two plus two equals privilege. <laughs> yeah. Two plus two equals cis. Yeah, <laughs> cis scum. Uh, is it? Uh, it, is, it is not enough to. Uh, Obey Anita, you must love her. <laughs> I love you know, for, for a movement to constantly say that they accept and tolerate all fucking, like, genders, all sexualities, all races, they, they are inherently, inherently aggressive towards males, specifically straight males. Straight white males, it's like... Yeah. It's hilarious on Twitter. It's like, oh yeah, it's just a bunch of straight white males being up in arms about nothing. And then it's like, well, and then they get like a bunch of string string of responses, basically saying, well, I'm not straight, or I'm not white, or I'm not male, <laughs> and it just shuts them down immediately. It's hilarious. It's fantastic. Well, I guess they have this stereotype that it's just a fucking basement dweller, Spoiler. you know, being angry at his video games. But it's not. It's bigger than that. Yeah. You know, when, when we have... Free goddamn speech. Yeah, when, when we have a fairly prominent feminist saying, you know, that our side is, is yeah, going about doing the right thing. Prominent feminist, formal philosophy professor. Exactly. You know, this is the, these are the kind of people that know what they're talking about. We have no? some very prominent uh, speakers. They, these are the people that use facts and numbers and statistics to back up their arguments. And and people are just going, no, you're just you know bright, brainwashed by the man, yeah. by the patriarchy. You're just, brainwashed. You know. Yeah, the patriarchy's got to you. It, in, is it um, internalized depression, I think is what they oh, call yeah, it? Oh, yeah, yeah. 
when when yeah. when you don't know that you're being oppressed. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> oh, sorry, honey. You don't realize, but you're already oppressed. Yeah. So let me speak on your behalf. Yeah, I'll speak on your behalf. You're not a free woman. You don't know. You don't know how to think for yourself. You are just your female spirit stripped from you. Yeah, it's ludicrous. Ludicrous. It is. You know, I have fucking internalized fucking stupid shit. I couldn't think of anything witty in the time it took me to say that shit, so... <laughs> I've got internalized misandry, and that's why I, I kill hundreds and hundreds of males in, yeah. in all games that I've ever played. It's just, you know, I'm just expressing my hatred for the ma for males. Yeah, exactly, and it's, it's the reason why I, I deliberately just go around fucking attacking every single Master Chief I see in Halo. <laughs> uh... Um, but yeah, I stand with John Tron, showing support for John Tron, who was hijacked by the social justice warriors. Much lulls and havoc ensued. Still and, um, one love giving us Tron. more and more ammunition, yeah. like just endless reams of ammo. Although, I, I will say, one love for John Tron. He's a fucking, he is a social super saiyan. He, he fucking does, being does. able to battle hundreds upon hundreds of social justice warriors. With a single blast. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. So yeah, very well done with him. Um, yeah, going back to uh, going on to our next thing, I think it's Adam based based win or Baldwin, the internet aristocrat radio segment. Would you care to give us the deets, Thomas? Um, basically, they went on. I don't remember the exact. Radio station, so that's terrible. Huey Lewis but... in the news. Hmm. Huey Lewis in the news. Maybe. But uh, yeah, they uh, they went they went on a radio talk show uh to talk about GamerGate, and they they extended quite a few invitations to various prominent uh, members of the game industry. Uh, I think I know they asked Anita, but that was never going to happen. Um, noob. I think they asked Zoe Quinn as well, but no. No. Head in the sand. Uh, but, uh, so yeah, they went on and, uh, and basically explained our side of the story and uh, in a reasonable, well-mannered sort of uh, discussion and uh, with, with nobody to oppose them, which was, you know, pretty much typical of, uh, of what you'd come to expect yeah. over the past few weeks. You know, it's uh, it's been shown time and time again that even though we're being portrayed as being the irrational ones, most of our discussions have been very, very rational. I mean, you know, I think how much is it that Beers donated to fucking fine young capitalists? No, I think it's more than twenty grand now. It is more than twenty thousand dollars. I mean, you know, this this is a situation where you know it's a it's a fantastic idea. You know. Absolutely. It's, it's a fantastic way to get women into the video games industry. I mean, all of the profits go towards charity. I don't think the fine young capitalists get anything from it. And the women who give these ideas get 8% of the royalties as well. Yeah, so, that's quite a significant amount, yeah, really. You know, most, the majority of the money is going towards females and charity. And I expect stuff well, what like... Could you really, how could that possibly be bad, like? Exactly, and you know, you got a fucking Zoe Quinn trying to shut it down and shit, and these social justice warriors saying that it's bad when you know, those being transphobic, I think, was the original argument. Yeah, yeah, that one, that one's that old chestnut. Yeah, Literally, <laughs> if if you do a bad representation of, say, for instance, transphobic, then you know you apologize and you rectify it. You, you don't go on a hate campaign for that specific person just because they said one thing wrong. Exactly. You know, I mean, it's the same thing with this. It's not a hate campaign because Zoe Quinn said one thing wrong or because social justice warriors are bad and shit. It's literally because it's fucking corruption in it's the industry. No, it's zero transparency at all. Exactly. It's just exactly. It's, it's not about a single person. It's, it's about the repeated events that have been happening for years. I mean... We've known for ages that something not right is going on but I think it's just like these past couple of weeks there's so something you know it was just too much yeah too much and, and it pissed 
everyone else. No, it just it just brought it back into the highlights, well, and you know this time, the kind of uh, kind of overflowed and just ship went on down. I love it. Uh, I think I'd, we should talk about the harassment uh, issue more because uh, was it uh, what was the the Breitbart journalist? What was his name? Um, oh, man. He's a Greek guy. Here we go. Uh, getting our sources here right now. I did find it. Yeah, we'll find our sources. Hold on. We can follow him on Twitter. Yeah. But uh, yeah, until you until you find him, I think uh, I'll quickly continue with everything. You know, it's, it's this really isn't about a single fucking person. No. Yeah, no, I'm not following him, but. Uh, no, he he was uh, he posted on Twitter saying that he had death threats in the in the double digits, He's but there's, but there's no like headline articles saying oh no a journalist has been receiving death threats oh but Anita gets one, you know, yeah. it's just so the, the the coverage is so one sided. It's like there was no coverage of uh, of John Tron getting abused no. by actually like there was probably more than a hundred tweets. Like or more, and uh, there was no article saying, "Oh, hundreds of people are, have started abusing John Tron in unison." Yeah. But like, there's when when one person on Wizard Chan says, "Oh no, I, I don't like that person," suddenly there's a fucking hate campaign against him. It's insane. It's fucking insane. Uh, the point there again is that uh, you know, it's it's important. The type of thing that they want to find it's like oh yeah this guy's getting death threats it doesn't matter it's their own fucking personal lives you know fucking get on with it you know you're a big boy you can take this shit yeah exactly in itself that that's sexism it's, you know it's yeah, a what? generalization it's fucking stereotyping oh yeah you're a fucking you're a boy when, you're a man you can take it when it's a man it's trolling but when it's a woman it's sexual harassment as a male, you were supposed to take care. And yeah. it's like, no, everybody is entitled and everybody is allowed to be affected or be, you know, kind of, you know, kind of like allowed or given the right to say, yeah, this is wrong. But no, if it's a guy, you just gotta fucking suck it up. But, yeah, follow it. Milo Yiannopoulos. Yes, I, think. I probably I probably butchered that completely. He fights for justice. He does fight for justice. You know, what? I hope that the death threats end for him. Was, his article was pretty. You know, it was scathing. It might have been maybe a little too harsh. I don't know, but it was. It's the most you know, bare bones sort of article you're gonna get. Not well, bare know, bones. Things, things get but, heated. And like admittedly, the death threats to Anita are wrong, and the death threats to yeah, Squirrel are wrong. Any kind of death yeah. threats, absolutely, do not condone. Exactly. If if they've been proven, you know, if they've been proven, and if they are, you know, real, then Just. it's something that really shouldn't happen. But this isn't, you know, it's not about death threats. This is about fucking injustice and corruption in video game journalism. You know, we can't let ourselves. Yeah, blindsided by a couple of death threats on either exactly. side. Imagine if Gandhi stopped after getting a death threat. You exactly. Know, like Martin Luther King. Imagine if he yeah, stopped exactly. after getting a, de a death threat. These people that are fighting for what they believe in. Supposedly, that's what Anita is fighting for as well, but no. I mean, admittedly, I'm not going to lie, I um, watched the latest feminist frequency about women as uh, as background... Uh, kind of dress. No, I haven't I haven't seen the newest one. It's actually it's actually pretty interesting. I read it and you know she does have some very valid points. Like She does have valid points, but they're, they're sort of muddled in with all sorts of ridiculous points that don't make any sense. Exactly, yeah. exactly. And I mean if she focused on the valid points then, you know, she could genuinely be fighting for justice in video games Absolutely. on both sides. You if know? she wasn't so bullshit or I'd be right there with her. Yeah, you know. Yeah, I mean, yeah, okay. These games are a little sexist, you know. There's, there's definitely a, cause it's basically because of the male-oriented, you know, design teams yeah. and whatever. But the only way that that's going to change is if more females take it up. Which yeah. is what the fine young capitalists have been trying to do. <laughs> exactly. You know, you know? They, they've been so, trying to get females into the industry. 
But no, what what I think what they what Anita is really trying to do is keep women out of the industry by you know she's got this this whole persona of being like for women in games. But as soon as like somebody else, her and Zoe Quinn, as soon as somebody else sort of pops up their head, it's sort of like oh well no they don't count. Slam them down. They, 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 they're being kickstarted by by the male patriarchy, so they don't count. Yeah, you know. Because that's a terrible thing. You have a group of males who genuinely believe that they're making a difference and trying to get women involved in video games in the right way. And they might not be doing it consciously, you know, but yeah. that's what they end up doing. But that's the thing, you know, you kind of have this sect, this group of guys who are genuinely trying to put things right. You know, trying to go, okay, yeah, there, there, are, there isn't much female representation in video games, but you know what? come along and fucking make some video games, get involved, you know, exactly. here's, here's a way that we're donating to and trying to get involved in, you know, fucking join up and just get shot down because of some woman's representation of transgenderness, which could be resolved by an apology from the fine young capitalists themselves. Which they did, but, exactly, you know, it's you know. just like, nope. Apparently sorry these days doesn't fucking cut it. Absolutely. But, you know, it's, it is very hurtful, you know, being on this side of uh, Gamersgate as well and constantly, like, having the whole misogynist uh, thing thrown at you. Because, you know... Nobody wants to be called a fucking misogynist. No, nobody wants to be called a misogynist, not at all. And especially when the point that you were trying to get across isn't even about misogyny and isn't even about feminism. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. you know, in all honesty, I I come from V. All I want to do is fucking see video games do well. Exactly. I don't fucking care whether you're male or female. If you're doing shitty things to video games, then you're a shit person. I will judge you on your ability to video. Exactly. Not, exactly. Or that's, that's, that's the exact representation of it. And you know, when when they're making a misogynistic and feminist kind of problem, it's like, but but video games. Yeah. <laughs> Just video but, but, but games. video games. Exactly. Like, you know, yeah. and the thing is, people on the social justice side, have, I doubt that they've been with this whole, like, video game related journalism stuff for a while, because we've had to sit through VGXs, fucking hosted <laughs> and sponsored by Kraft Mac and Cheese fucking dinner. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we have had to see the Dorito Pope. Oh god. The rise and fall of Dorito exactly, Pope. Exactly, the rise and fall of Dorito Pope. We've had to go through fucking Kane and Lynchgate, where fucking GameSpot dressed up their entire goddamn website to fucking represent the game. <laughs> and and then are... give it a 6 out of 10. Yeah. Exactly, give it a 6 out of 10, <laughs> have one of their editors fired, and yet they still <laughs> shove down our throats that no, there's no corruption. No corruption here, guys. No corruption at all. Nothing to Pay no attention to the man behind the curtain. <laughs> but, you know, it's, it's just come to this point where, you know, we've waited this long and now nobody expects the Spanish Inquisition. <laughs> <laughs> you know, literally, when it comes down to the punch, now they're thinking, fuck, what are we going to do? <sighs> oh, man. But, yeah, fucking, honestly... I don't give a shit about females and their representation in video games in this respect. It has absolutely nothing to do with it. Of course, you know, social justice and all that sort of stuff is a very big thing, and I advocate equal rights for everybody. And I personally think that female representation in video games is incredibly lax and that there's something that should be done, and I agree with it all. But, you know, this, this isn't a point about feminism. This isn't a point about being fucking feminist and about misogyny. The point here is that there's been a lot of corruption in video game journalism to the point where they can literally stop themselves from being judged by swapping over their ju like job title to say that they're bloggers instead of journalists. <laughs> and as such, journalistic integrity doesn't fucking allow or is part of them, even though it's written on their fucking site that they take journalistic integrity seriously. You, you know what? You know what the next step is, don't you? What's that? Crashing this plane. <laughs> Crashing this plane. With no survivors. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, video games. 
Now's not the time for video games. <laughs> that comes later. <laughs> <laughs> it's oh. fine. We can all go home and cancel Bez tweets. Yeah. <laughs> you should buy it. You should buy the IP. I wonder what will come out. Like, I wonder what will come out. Turn it into a Facebook this. game. Farmville, just call it Fezville. 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 You can leave this girl down. That it's would like, be the greatest thing. It's like a microtransaction animal crossing. <laughs> oh god. Pay for After the, the day that the video dies. <laughs> oh, fucking I think, that, I think I that about wraps it up. Yeah, yeah I fucking love it's, Animal Crossing. Yeah, I think... Today's lesson, Animal Crossing is good. Yeah, Animal Crossing Animal is Animal Crossing is good. flawless. Flawless game. And uh we just here for the video. And video is good, yeah. yeah. No, literally. Anybody who fucking says that it's a feminist issue, we're, we're just in it for video games. I just play well, I wanna make good games. And and you should be in it for video games. You should fight for video games. If if there's something in your hobby you don't like and the general consensus around you is that people don't like it and fight to make it right. Stand up! Exactly. Go to your window! And shout! Yeah. As loud as you can! <laughs> I've got to have you brain! And I'm not gonna <laughs> take it anymore! I'm mad as hell! I'm mad as hell! And I'm not gonna take it anymore! My life is nice Mario! You know, let's, let's end things on a nice light note. Is anybody going to be playing some video games after this? We're going to go and watch Gurren Lagann. I'll we'll probably end up playing Animal Crossing at some point. Animal Crossing is the fucking... is the bomb. I would pay any bells for it. so good on the 3DS. <laughs> Personally, I'm going to go replay uh, Hot Gold. Do it. Which will nice. probably be on this. If you're listening to this right now, the fucking recording you are watching is probably me playing the game. That's time travel. I know, I know. It's like fucking Marty McFly shit. Know. I don't know if you knew, but that's time travel. That is time no, travel. This is this is also for like foreboding as well. Look at this. We've we've got many existential crises. <laughs> crises. You're gonna crises. be the very best in the past, and the present, and the future, you guys. Exactly. We fight for not only the present, we fight for the future. <laughs> Yeah. All right, uh, yeah, so uh, we'll probably yeah. see you next week with the full roster of people. Hopefully. Yeah, that's if uh, that's if our roster doesn't get leaked. <laughs> oh, <laughs> smash reference. <laughs> oh, man, right. Ew. I shall. Yeah. All right, we'll, uh, we'll see you next weekend. Bye. Bye. Bye.